Subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and never miss an update from Latestly. I'm Greg Robinson, Program Director of the James Webb Space Telescope. Uh, we, we're processing uh, for launch in, in Kourou, French Guyana, and uh, getting very excited. And with me, I have Paul Geithner, the Deputy Project Manager for Technical uh, from the Goddard Space Flight Center. Uh, so, so give us a little uh, summary of what's happened over the past two or three weeks uh, getting the observatory ready uh, to meet up with the rocket? Sure, so we finished testing after shipping. Um, we attached to the uh, launch adapter that gets bolted to the space, to the uh, Ariane rocket, and from which we'll separate when the Ariane rocket is done. Um, we had to put fuel on the, on the observatory because uh, we need fuel for mid-course corrections after we launch to get us into our final orbit around Lagrange point number two, and we need fuel during the mission, during the many years of the science mission to uh, maintain that orbit and um, manage momentum and, and do some large angle repointings from one target to another. So that was a hazardous operation because the propellants are really toxic and, and that completed successfully. And, and uh, right now we are sitting atop the rocket and we are encapsulated in the fairing or nose cone of the rocket, and we're waiting rollout to the pad in, in very short order. Uh, that, that sounds really good. Uh, so it seems like most of the work is behind us. Uh, so, so Paul, uh, just tell us when do we actually roll out and, and how does that process work? And uh, give us a, a few seconds about actual launch day. Sure. So, uh, and just a matter of a day or two, um, two days before the launch is when we roll out. Um, right now we're in the uh, uh, big vehicle assembly building uh, down here where we mated to the um, Ariane launch vehicle and, and had the fairing installed over us. And uh, the whole Ariane rocket stack with us on it is on top of a mobile launch platform that um, will crawl out to the uh, launch pad, um, and, which is some distance away. It'll take, it'll take several hours to do. Um, but that happens two days before launch. And then um, in the about five hours, the last five hours before launch, uh, we do all the electrical configuration of the spacecraft so it's ready to go, which is you know have, making sure all its final flight software is got the correct version and um, we configure everything in from its test configuration to its launch and work in space configuration. And then the last thing we do is go off of external power and onto internal power, the battery on the spacecraft, which will power us until about a half hour after liftoff. When the solar array comes out, we start making electricity out of sunshine. Um, that time we're on this battery, so that's a critical time. And, and then we launch. So that's what's left to do. There's not a lot. There's not a lot of items left before we launch. Well, thank you, Paul. That, that sounds very exciting. Um, not a lot to do at this point. Hey, uh, just one last thing. Uh, I know the weather is great uh, temperature-wise. Uh, anything that can prohibit us weather-wise from launching? Um, the kind of weather of two types. Uh, the weather around here um, usually isn't an issue, but. Um, it could, there could be um, a problem with, with uh, uh, rain or non visibility, but uh, the other kind of weather actually is space weather. If the sun 
starts uh, belching uh, solar flares or particles or something, that could, that could, um, that could be a problem for uh, launching. And there's a chance that might happen, but it's those kinds of two. It's those two kinds of weather: the the you know terrestrial weather and then the solar weather. But other than that, um, you know, if the range is clear of ships and things like that, we should be fine, and and um, we'll, we can get off on time. Well, thank you, Paul. Uh, this has been really helpful. Appreciate it, and uh, I'm getting really excited, and so is the rest of the world. Thank you. Thank you, Greg. We'll see you here soon. The entire world is looking forward to the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope. Let's hear more from a people around the globe about what makes Webb a scientific and technological marvel. Será el próximo y principal observatorio espacial para los astrónomos de todo el mundo y llevará más allá los prometedores descubrimientos del telescopio espacial Hubble. 它是一个由美国国家航空航天局、欧洲空间局和加拿大空间局开展的国际合作项目。Web is so groot dat deze in origami stijl moet worden opgevouwen om in de raket te passen, om vervolgens in de ruimte als een transformer te worden uitgeklapt. Les cinq couches de son écran solaire le protégeront du rayonnement infrarouge émis par le Soleil, la Terre et la Lune. C'est un peu comme avoir une crème solaire avec un FPS de 1 million. Abhutpur infrared sensitivity ke saath ye pichle 13 arab saal tak ke samay mein Big Bang ke baad sabse pehle peda hui galaxies ko dekhegi. در فاصله یک و نیم میلیون کیلومتری از زمین به دور خورشید خواهد گشت در حالی که تلسکوپ هابل در فاصله 560 کیلومتری زمین در مدار زمین قرار دارد 